Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're going to take a closer look at the works of mercy. First the corporal works, then the spiritual. Today, the first corporal work of mercy, feeding the hungry. Almost everybody knows what it's like to be hungry. How that feeling of exhaustion and emptiness, sometimes even tension, can come over you gradually or even all at once when you haven't had anything filling for a long time. We know from experience what hunger is, but there are still a few more distinctions to make. To start with, hunger is not merely a desire. Being hungry means that our bodies have a need which hasn't already been fulfilled. We may not immediately drop dead from a few more hours of hunger, but if we continue to not eat, we will eventually die from it, with plenty of suffering along the way. So when we talk about showing mercy to a hungry person by giving them something to eat, the purpose is to help save them from that suffering and death. After all, we'd want to be saved from those same things if we were in their place. It's only just. However, there is a situation in which providing food for a hungry person would not be a merciful act, and that's if their hunger is intentional. For example, when a person is participating in fasting in order to pursue holiness, they might be very hungry but not want to eat until their fast is over. Their hunger is voluntary, so it's not merciful to force them to eat. A few of the physical needs are like this, where the act ceases to be merciful if the need is a voluntary one. Another thing to point out is the difference between hunger and the desire for food of certain types. Some food may contain important nutrients, which can help to prevent or treat certain diseases, and it would be merciful to help people get those if possible, for example, oranges or limes to combat scurvy. However, just because a person wants a cupcake or an organic pretzel or a piece of Swiss cheese doesn't mean that providing them with those precise foodstuffs is an act of mercy. Their hunger can probably be dealt with by many other foodstuffs, and giving them exactly what they desire isn't necessary. It might even be bad for them. Next, when should we give drink to the thirsty? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.